Well, Abby and I are doing a little painting in the house. She's actually got paint all over her arms. You see and that? We needed a little break from the fumes, so we decided to get outside and drive. Yeah, we sound a little loopy today. <laughs> it is a painting. <laughs> to drive this high boxing RC car. Now, we were in a bit of a hurry. Uh, we're just waiting on rounds of paint to dry. So, what, what better thing to do while you're out and about and waiting for paint to dry than to either watch our videos or play with an RC vehicle. So this one just showed up recently and I only grabbed the battery and charged it, but I wanna point out that it does have an included wheelie bar. We've seen a similar vehicle to this on the channel Where? before. Uh, I've not attached it. It comes with one. <laughs> I was like, it's what heavy, are you talking heavy. When it goes over 15 miles an hour, it comes out and catches it. And You're then talking about a wheelie out, bar that's not there. It also has a rear uh, <laughs> spoiler or fin that just a couple screws hold it on. I just chose not to put it on because we we're in a bit of a hurry and LED lights. But we've showed these things on other high boxing vehicles. This is a brushless four wheel drive ready to run RC vehicle. And I, I we've really liked them in the past. We've really liked them in the past. <laughs> <What's There was laughs> We've really liked these a lot in the past, so I'm pretty confident that we're going to enjoy this today, unless it just falls apart while we're running it, and it shouldn't because we still have our old ones. This one's going to join the collection. For 116th scale vehicles that are under $100, this is a really nice setup. So let's power it on and have some fun. That goes to show you how much Abby likes these because, notice, I'm not at the controls and she is. Ah, I get to do the intro, she gets to play with it. <laughs> I hear you playing with that throttle. Where Whoa! Where'd that stick come from? Welcome to the hill if you're new to the channel. This thing is so much fun to play with RCs on. Here we go, here we go. Oh, powerful. It is. So, okay, let us know in the comments. Are you able to go to your local parks? If you are, are they being maintained? This is such a unique time for everybody right now. We're grateful to have access to our local park here but yeah unfortunately they're not mowing the grass i think um probably I because of it. probably because of oh man wow Did that was cool that? yeah that was like a crazy backflip that's cool this truck almost stop right here for a second look at this this truck almost has enough clearance to drive this way <laughs> so if it flips upside down and it's got a little mound of dirt beside it it can use that to kick back over and that's what it did on that. Ah. Look at that, see? Oh, too powerful for its own good. This, the sticks and these tall. You're coming to our hill and putting sticks on it. Stop. <laughs> Notice I said our hill. This is our hill. Why is this here? Boom. Oh my gosh. Don't fall. <laughs> oh yeah, it's this, oh wow. That, that was like an inch away from hitting my eye. The uh, these tall weeds are slowing it down. Ah, oh, if you had any momentum still, I'd say you could do it. Okay. All right, all right. No. Well, let's go to the smaller part of the hill, have some fun, and before the end of the video, we'll come back over and try to conquer the hill. You want to do a couple of Yeah, let's do it. Whoa! Is this a brushless motor? It is brushless, yeah. Yeah, you can tell. Just like the other high boxings that we recently did on the channel. It looks like it needs trimmed a hair. Maybe. A little too far, huh? Just a touch back the other way. Nice. Here we go. Speed pass. This reminds me of the WL Toys. Oh, a nice, Abby. 959B. That is quick. The little buggy, the brushless buggy. Yeah. This reminds me of that. Cool. Does it, are you? This is super nice. Listen to this, listen. That is geared out really well. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully I remember to turn the music down there. <laughs> that is nice. This is running super smooth. Let's try to bash on the hillside. Guys, I'm so, I feel so bad for our park guys. They're probably not getting as many hours right now, but at least we're able to come and enjoy this. Oh, 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 that was nice. That's a cool little 
Maybe you can hit that again and ramp it over the water. Here we go. Oh, just caught the edge. These are tough too. We've had a lot of fun with these. I'm happy to have a third one in our collection. Nice. Whoa, okay, hold on, Abby. Who can tell me what these mushrooms are? And are they edible? Look at these. That's a ton. What kind of mushroom and are they edible? Abby and I have been trying to learn about just things that grow in our area and stuff. And man, these look cool. Wow. Okay, Abby. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no! Oh! So close and I can wow! Oh, that was close. I like this RC a lot. It's pretty fast for the size. Probably my favorite of the whole series. Of the high boxings? Yeah. yeah, me too, for sure. By far. It would look cooler if I put the spoiler on the back. And the wheelie bar. And maybe the wheelie bar, but then it can't off-road as well. And I knew we'd be off-roading. Yeah. But the wheelie bar would be holding it in place so it wouldn't be flipping over as much. Here, come over here. I can make it up this baby hill. Nah, uh, you just gotta keep momentum on a vehicle like this when it's so dry out. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh wow. We really need the wheelie bar on here. But it is included. It just comes in the box with it. Just needs a couple screws to hold it on. There are those mushrooms. Oh, nice, nice tree ramp. Oh, well, that might be fun. Yeah. After we saw it slip over at the bottom of the hill. Oh no. So this being four wheel drive, it's not geared in a way that it's got like a lot of torque. Okay, meaning like if you get hung up on something, it doesn't have a lot of dig to get out of it. Like the differential's loose. Aww. All right. No. Oh. So close here. I'll let you try. Okay. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to pull I the throttle trigger yet. I keep flipping it. I've definitely uh, had more flips than my allotted three. Yeah, I should have been keeping track. <laughs> you weren't. It's your own fault. Ah, oh, Abby, this grass is super tall. I know. Not complaining to our park people though. We know that a lot of them actually watch our videos. We're super grateful to those of you park guys watching. Thank you for the areas you've been able to mow. Feel bad for you guys. Oh man. Yeah, this is cool. Cool little basher. It's got a lot of punch when you need it to. Picks up some nice dust trails. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's my first flip. Oh, two. <laughs> it does flip, but I I say it's because it's pretty powerful. It needs the wheelie bar on there, Nate. It does. I know. It's my own fault. We were in a bit of a hurry, and I just wanted to get out of the house really bad. And thought, man, we should bring everyone else along with us. This, the thing about this hobby, we always get um, people that like to stop and watch or ask questions, which is super cool with us. Just do the social distancing thing right now, and that's what's going on right now. <laughs> oh, we got caught on a route. When we did boat week, Abby and I had so many people that wanted to stop and ask questions about the boats. Do you guys think we should do another boat week on the channel? If so, let us know. Someone asked if we could do the alligator boat. You guys know what we're talking about? An alligator boat? Um, well, we've got that one in the shopping cart, so we need a few more recommendations for boat week. Let us know what you'd like to see on the channel and maybe we can make it happen. I think we'll do another boat week here in like, maybe a month or so? What do you think, Abby? For sure, yeah. We gotta get enough boats to do a whole week and then we will. I I love doing the boats. They're Me fun. Me too. Me too. That's like being by the water. But this was really, this is just, this is perfect. You know what? I knew coming here today that we would like this. I didn't think it wouldn't, I, I, it needs the wheelie bar, even off-roading, because it's so powerful that it would just kick the whole vehicle back and it gets stuck upside down. So I think that's why it's flipping most of the time. But it was just awesome to get out and have a break. This 
sun is super bright. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> it was really nice to get out of the house and get a much needed break and some thus <laughs> much needed fresh air, clearly. <laughs> There's paint fumes, wow. <laughs> this is awesome though. The high boxing little brushless vehicles are all great. We'll link this one below, but we'll also link maybe one of our other videos where Abby and I were driving these. Didn't we drive these together in one video? We drove, yeah, at the beginning of the coronavirus. I think they were the high boxings. We I'm pretty sure those, those yeah. are the ones I'm thinking of. I, I like this whole series a lot. You do yourself a huge favor to own at least one in the series. So we'll link some of our favorites below and you can pick one out and just know that you'll have a really nice budget 16th scale brushless four-wheel drive vehicle. Absolutely great performance and uh, they're really making a good name for themselves. So two giant thumbs up. All the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. I thank God for giving us an opportunity to get out here, even in the tall grass, to share this moment with you guys. Get some fresh air. Grass. Ah, no pain fumes. Thank you to the big guy upstairs. And I also want to say a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. We couldn't do our channel without you guys. You know who you are and you mean the world to us. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. What we'll do is have a video popping up right about now of another one of our favorite little high boxing vehicles. If you like this and want to get a little bit more content about it, check that video out. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.